In the Philippines railway sector, ongoing big-ticket projects include the Metro Manila Subway, Makati Intra-City Subway, the Philippine National Railway's North-South Commuter Railway Clark Calamba, MRT-7, LRT extensions, and the Common Station. As Philippines is inching closer towards having its first subway system, the Department of Transportation DOTR, unveiled on February 5, 2021 a part of a tunnel boring machine, the head cutter that is crucial to the construction of the Metro Manila subway. The cutter head is the largest part of the tunnel boring machine, weighing 74 tons or as heavy as two Airbus A320 airplanes. Its main purpose is to break, cut and grind rocks and soil, with the power of 300 jackhammers by rotating its 36-piece disc cutter. The machine can dig up to 6 to 12 meters a day. Remaining parts of the said machine could arrive in the country in the coming days. This is how tunnel boring machine works. One of the most popular construction methods used by tunnel boring machines are TBM, is EPB. Underground TBM is constantly subject to stanic earth pressure and water pressure. To even out balance them, trust jack cylinder applied forward pressure. The earth pressure balance is managed with earth pressure gauge. The ground is excavated by the cutter head and broken up. Additive injected is softened and adjusted, so it can be more easily convey pressure to the earth pressure gauge. Pressure bounce is maintained while excavating, and soil is evacuated using the screw conveyor. TBMs thereby bounces static earth and water pressure to smoothly and stably performed excavation. TBMs, such as EPB machine, are composed of shield body which perform tunnel excavation, and a backup system, which carry the equipment necessary for the excavation. The cutter head rotates, excavating the soil in front of the TBM. The cutter head is equipped with this cutter, and scraper bit. This can be replaced when it became worn out. The bearing is rotated by the cutter motors, turning the cutter head at the front of the TBM. Thrust jack cylinders are extended to pushes some formed segments, and the counter forces pushes the TBMs forwards. The TBM is equipped with an articulation jack system from negotiating sharp curves, the cutter's head is composed of front and rear shield, and articulation enables them to excavate these curves. The erector holds each segment to reach strokes, assembling these segments in ranges. The erector places each segment in place individually, and then places the key segment, completing the ring. The TBM uses a symmetric straggler joint construction. The embedded pumps in the back of cars pump a liquid and B liquid to the grouting units mounted in the machine. Two grouting units for grouts between segments and the skin plates, while the TBM performs excavation. These prevents subsidence and water leakage from between segments, and as well as rapidly stabilizing the segments. The additive pumps in back the car's pumps foams and polymer to the cutter head. Additive is injected by the cutter head, while machine excavation is on progress, solidifying the mines. The screw conveyor excavated soil to the rear of the TBM. The soil is passed through a rubber hose, to the backup of conveyor and tunnel conveyor to final conveyor. In that order, and carry to the rear of the tunnel. The used of tunnel conveyor is far more efficient than excavations, by Mack cars. The rolling stocks supply new segments. The strolling stock is made of locomotives, two segment cars, and a platform. A crane picks up individual segment brought in from the backup and load them one by one to the erector. This giant is the first of 25 total tunnel boring machines, on which six TBMs will be used for the partial operability section of the subway project, that will be used to dig the tunnels and passageways for the whole subway line from Valenzuela through Quezon City, Pasig, Taguig and the Ninoy Aquino International Airport in Pasig.
On December last year, Sumitomo Corporation and Japan Transport Engineering Company JTRAC, have received an order from the Department of Transportation DOTR, of the Philippines to supply 240 train cars, 8 cars for 30 trainsets, for the country's Metro Manila subway project Phase 1. The train cars will be manufactured by JTRAC, the leading car train manufacturer in Japan which also supplies car trains in the United States. Metro Manila Subway will use one Sistina product brand name for the next generation stainless steel train cars, featuring higher energy conservation, enhanced safety and high maintainability, have been adopted by multiple railway lines including the Yamanote line operated by East Japan Railway Company. DOTR ensured that building the subway would be safe, citing the Japanese technology to be employed. Engineers and consultants involved in the construction of the Metro Manila subway, were also the engineers and consultants in Japan subways, where typhoons and earthquakes happen most often. This means that they have their talent, skills, and experience that will be used for this construction. The proposal to create the first ever subway line in the capital region dates back to September 1973, when it was first proposed under the Urban Transport Study in Manila Metropolitan Area, conducted by the Japan Overseas Technical Cooperation Agency, a predecessor of JICA. The subway was then proposed in 2000 during the administration of Estrada, and 2014 during the term of Aquino, none of the proposal were approved. In 2017, the current administration completed the detailed feasibility study for the Metro Manila subway, which immediately obtained NEDA board approval in September 2017. On March 2018, the loan agreement was signed between President Rodrigo Duterte and Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe. Dubbed as the project of the century, breaks ground on February 2019, at the subway depot site in Valenzuela City. The contractor for the Metro Manila Subway Partial Operability Section is the Shimizu Fujita Takenaka EEI Joint Venture. The Metro Manila Subway Project is the first underground railway system project in the Philippines, which aims to provide mass transportation in the national capital region, from Valenzuela City to Paranaque, and the Naiya Terminal 3 in Pasay. Reaching a speed of up to 80 km per hour, crosses seven local government units and will cut travel time from Valenzuela to Naiya from 1 hour and 30 minutes to just 45 minutes. The subway is planned to begin partial operations by December, by the end of the year. Worst case scenario is by January or February next year, for update by DOTR this month. It will serve 370,000 passengers daily in its first year. All stations will be fully operational by 2025, with a design capacity of 1.5 million passengers per day.